consult a physician before starting this or any exercise program. Jason and I just finished our stretching, and we're going to get started with our chest workout with the cable crossover flies, right? All right. Okay, um, can you put it on 20 for me? Thank you. Good. And this is a terrific exercise for shaping the pecs. I like to put my one foot forward, keep the chin up, exhale as I squeeze together. Good. You do this exercise a lot, don't you? I do it in the beginning a lot. Good concentration exercise. I like to warm up with it before I go to like a incline press or something. Plus, this is great for a definition too. I like to exhale. Exhale as you squeeze together too. Good. What I do here is I hold it for a beat at the, at the bottom of the movement, and I alternate right arm in front and left for the contraction. Okay. What do you want? Uh, let's go five. Got it? Yep. <clears throat> now, Jason likes to warm up with this exercise. I usually warm up with the um, an incline bench or flat bench. But it's a personal preference. If you warm up with this exercise, your next movement um, generally should be a pressing movement. This is a great shaping one. You can really see it working right into here. It's got great definition. Looking good. Notice here is his uh, contraction right in through here. You can really see the striations in the pecs. One more. Wow. Okay. Round of applause. <laughs> okay. I'll do one more set. I'll do it on two again. So we're going to do three to four sets of the cable crossovers, and we're going to move on to... Um, to your favorite, right? The uh, incline, incline bench. And that's for the upper chest. This is generally for the overall chest area. Good. Chest up. It's important to train your chest if you play sports. Any kind of sports that your arm crosses the body, like in tennis, it's important to have a strong chest, right? Yep, in football, football. Keeping people off you, pushing. That's right. Okay, should we move on? Sure. Okay. Now the next movement, you want to, you can start this one. Okay. Is the uh, incline press. And this is for the upper area of the chest. Take two dumbbells, overhand grip. And press up. Directly overhead, perfect. This is working right in through here. You can really see it working. Great. He's exhaling as he squeezes up, and if I want to spot him, I'm right here. Good. This is pretty light for you, huh? You normally train a lot heavier. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect form. Notice he's keeping his elbows back. His back is flat against the bench. He's exhaling on the way up. Perfect. Good set. Kiana's turn. How often do you train your chest? Uh, usually once a week. Heavy. Do you train your chest more than once a week? Um, twice a week. Twice a week. We'll do five more. Feels good. 14. 14 and 15. Okay, your turn. Okay. Now, when you're training in the gym, try putting your bench at different angles. Maybe one time do incline bench, next time flat bench, the next time decline. Keep things changing.
What you want to do is do three to four sets, starting off with the warm-up set. And gradually increase the weight. Next set, Jason will go up to, uh, what, 135 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> Again, when you're spotting, you can spot down here at the elbows. You just want to give a little help. You don't want to take the weight away from your partner. Good concentration. You get five more? Yep. Let's push up. Four. Everybody's watching you. Three. <laughs> and two. And last one. Great. Good set. Okay. Now our last movement today is the pec deck. You've probably seen this in your gym. This is great for getting this for men to get the squared off chest and for women to add nice shape and definition. Notice here the position of my arms, the elbow is parallel with the shoulder, back flat, squeeze together. How am I doing? Good. <laughs> Keep your back against the pad. Now you played football. What kind of um, training did you do for football? Uh, a lot of basic movements, a lot of uh, bench press, incline, flat and decline, a lot of explosion movements. As I got out of sports and more into body shaping, I did more uh, exercises that were concentration exercises, like the crossovers and the tech deck. Uh-huh. So like you're doing this. less of the uh, pressing movements and more of the shaping. concentration. A good tip for you at home is when you're training with weights, listen to your body. If you're starting to see results with one exercise, that's a good one for you. Sometimes, I mean, certain movements work better for some people than others. Great. Now notice here he's leading with the elbows. He's squeezing with the chest. It's not an arm movement. Good, Jason. Perfect. Perfect form. You can really see it working right in here. A couple more. Okay. If I want to spot him, I can spot him right here at the elbow. You don't want to spot at the pad. You want to squeeze at the elbow and help your partner just a little yes. bit. Okay. Great. Okay, I'm going to increase the weight a little bit. 40. In addition to weight training, what else do you do? Running or swimming? I run, I play a little golf, and tennis. Tennis? You any good? <laughs> so, so. Okay, I'm going to finish up my, my set here, and that's it for our chest workout. Keanu's Flex Appeal will be right back. Sometimes it seems there's never enough time in the day to get your workouts in, so you have to train at night. So Kathleen and I are starting off our chest workout with the bench press on the Kiana Multiflex Gym. Now, how's that feel? Pretty good. It's the same, same movement as using the dumbbells, except it's on the machine. Elbows nice and high. Exhaling as she presses forward. This is working the entire chest area and the secondary muscle groups that are here to your shoulders. Good. So we were just talking earlier, and you said sometimes you're modeling during the day and you don't have time to train, so you train at night, right? Yes. Just to make sure I get it in before my day's over. You feel so much better. You wake up in the morning, you have more energy. It's great. Feel accomplished. Yeah. Skip your workout because you're so busy. You find that your busy schedule tires you out and you're not working out, so you don't have the energy. So I like to make sure I get it in no matter what. Now, you, you were a swimsuit model and you do a lot of sporting goods catalogs, yeah. right? For my dancing, I always get booked on the sporting things because they want me to do jumps and leaps and all kinds of things, and I, they have me doing it for eight hours. Oh, my gosh. So it's, not, it's hard to come home and do a workout after you've done that because you feel like you've worked out, but that's usually the days while I do cardio or something a little bit different if I've got the daylight left. What I like about this machine is it's a weight stack as opposed to a rubber band. Uh -huh. So it's, you can get a lot of weight on here, which I like to do. I like to train heavy. 
Yeah, okay. a lot of the home gyms are the rubber band now. Right. This is the, the real thing. The real thing. Okay. Now, for me, I like to train in the morning and get it over with. I like to sleep in that extra hour. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. So for you at home, if you find you have more energy at night, take advantage of that extra energy and train at night and vice versa in the morning. Good. Now we're gonna do three to four sets of the bench press and then move on to the uh, tricep extension for the back of the arm. I like training chest and tries together because as you're pushing in this motion like Kathleen's doing, you're also getting the triceps, so you're already getting warmed up. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on 50. <laughs> I know the reason why I like the machine. I don't know about you, Kiana, but it helps you with your... You can't help but go wrong with your form if you got your back flat up against that and your hand's on the right handle. So, so it makes know, it easier to yeah, learn. Yeah, and you don't train your muscles incorrectly. So that's also important to make sure you train your muscles correctly. So don't be intimidated at the gym to ask for help. Looks great. I bought books before also because they have a lot of um, how-to photos in there that help me at home uh -huh. when I'm training. So I look, re refer to the photos and make sure my form is correct. Okay, we're going to have her do another set. Good. Perfect. And we were also talking about uh, when you're training at the gym and if you're intimidated to go up and... Uh, if you don't know how to use the machine, you can always ask somebody who's already using it, ask a personal trainer at the gym, or even read the charts that are on the sides of the machine. Just make sure you're in proper form so you don't get hurt. Plus, you look better faster, right? Mm-hmm. Because you're doing it right. You look great. Oh, that's good. You want, you want to uh, move on to the next one? Sure. Okay, this is called the tricep extension. Is that weight okay for you? Uh, I want to make it a 20. Tricep push downs using the wide grip bar. Hand shoulder width apart, overhand grip, thumbs on the same side, elbows tighten to the waist, and press downs for the back of the arm. I like that one. And your grip's a little bit closer together. Shoulder width. And keep a slight bend in your knees. I like to flex and straighten the elbow. Yeah, you see that working. It looks great. And this is our home gym, everybody. It's like we're at the gym, but we're not. We're home. That's what's so great about it. Especially with our busy schedule. Because, you know, you might not get home until 10 or 11 at night. Okay, your turn. Okay, good. Keep your elbows in nice and tight. Actually, you want to put your thumbs on the other side. Oh, okay. There you go. I know, I feel it more. Good. Perfect. Excellent. Can you do five more? Mm -hmm. Four. Three. Two more. Two. And one. All right. Well, we've shown you the bench press, the tricep push down. And before we go, we have one thing to say. Ready? Peace, love, and flex appeal. Batter up. Stay tuned as Kiana's flex appeal goes to the batting cages for our next cross training workout. This segment of Kiana's flex appeal is brought to you by ASICS Tiger Corporation. If you like working out as much as I do, you'll want to join my new fitness club. Drop us a line and we'll tell you how to join. Having a healthy, fit lifestyle doesn't always have to mean going swimming, jogging, or biking. It can mean something as fun as going to the batting cages. We're here at the beautiful Family Fun Center in Fountain Valley, California, hitting a few balls and getting our batting practice in. Batting's a great way if you want an alternative to doing crunches for your abs. It's a great exercise for your obliques and your upper and lower abs and your shoulders and your triceps because of all the twisting motion. So next time you want a fun workout to do with a friend or alone, go to the batting cages. Batter up.
Use weight training to enhance performance in your favorite cross-training sport. The bench press strengthens the chest, shoulders, and triceps, the same muscles used as when you hit those home runs. Concentration curls develop the peak area of the bicep muscle. Do three to four sets, 15 to 20 repetitions to give your swing more power. By combining weight training with your favorite sports, you increase strength, endurance, and have more fun. Everybody. Today we're targeting the triceps. We're going to show you some push-ups and some overhead extensions using free weights and your own body weight. This is Jason and this is Eric and we're going to work out just for you at home. Okay, let's get started. Starting off with a push-up, wide grip push-up. I'm doing the beginner position with my knees bent. You guys are doing the more advanced position. So drop down and give us 15. Ready? Down and up one. Tummy's tight. Two, three, let's get your chest, your shoulders, your triceps, four, five, keep your muscles tight, six, seven, exhale, eight, Whew. nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, flex those muscles, fourteen, and last one, up. 15. Okay, moving our hands in for a tripod push-up. In this exercise, we're targeting the triceps so your elbows go out. All right, let's go. Drop it down. And one. Two. By changing the hand position, you can focus on different muscle groups. Four. Five. Good, Jason. Six. Seven. Eight, nine. Ooh, I can feel these. How about you, Eric? Yeah. <laughs> Ten. Come on, five more. Let's go. Five. Counting them down. And four. That's a real sweat over there. Three. Good job. Two. Last one. Last one. Pump it up. Up. All right. Let's do a little stretch. Let's pull it down. Stretch out our arms a little. Ah. Uh, good. Okay. Moving on now. Overhead extensions. Two arms, take a nice comfortable uh, stance, feet shoulder width apart, elbows up by the ears, and extend it up for one. Keep your abs nice and tight, keep your quads tight. Three, working the triceps, four, five, let the muscles do the work, six, seven, sets of 15 here, eight, nine, ten, Good, Eric. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, let's put our weights down. Do a little stretch. Let's just drop the arm back. Stretch out the triceps. It's important to stretch out your muscles. You want to maintain flexibility. Give your muscles a little chance to relax here. Other side. Feel that nice, warm Maui sun. Okay, let's get started with some more push-ups. See if these guys can hang with me here. All right, let's see. Back to the wide grip. I mean, a wide hand position. All right, let's work in ten, uh, sets of 10. Ready, and go. And one. Pick up the pace here. Two. Three. You can do these exercises anywhere. You can follow along at home. Do them on the beach in Maui. Five. Six. Woo, seven, let's go. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, hands together. Can we do this one? And down, and up. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, five more. Six, seven, oh, eight, <laughs> nine, and last one, up ten. Okay, stretch it out. Ah. All right, we're going to finish up with our overhead extensions. Just 
does is show you you can get an entire workout in in less than 10 minutes for your triceps. Elbows tight next to the ear. You guys ready? And extend it up for one. There you are. And two. Three. We're going to control the weight on the way down. Feel the muscle contract and release. Good. Nice and easy. Keep the abs tight. Tighten the legs, the glutes. Exhale. Let's go five more. Four. Last three. Make these two count. And one more. Okay. Good job. A successful workout routine is one that you actually do. Keep your body and your mind looking forward to your next workout with variety. Try varying the equipment, location, and type of exercise you do for motivation. As we did today in our Pro Gym segment, change up your usual chest workout with machines and free weights with cable flies, the incline press, and the pec deck. Another way to keep things interesting is to work out in different gyms or in the privacy of your own home. You can use free weights or the Kiana Multiflex Gym to get an awesome chest and tricep workout. It's convenient if you want to save time, save money on gym fees, or want to enjoy your privacy. Setting realistic fitness goals will help you stick to your fitness routine. It's motivating to see results and to see your muscles responding to your hard work at the gym. Train smart. Look at your body objectively and target trouble areas first, like the tricep muscle that often tends to get flabby. Train this area first as a priority to get the most of the exercise when you're the freshest and your energy is at its peak. Stay in shape and exercise a little bit each day. Keep things simple and fun. This way you'll enjoy a healthy, active lifestyle for a long time. Kiana's Flex Appeal was filmed on location in Maui, Hawaii at the beautiful Grand Wailea Resort Hotel and Spa. We had an awesome workout on Kiana's Flex Appeal. We'll see you next time.